Hunter Call of the Wild just gave us a Heavy Weapons DLC, but is it the Heavy Weapons DLC we asked for? I'm about to find out. So apparently they gave us, it looks like a 10 gauge shotgun, a 300 Win Mag AR, and a 4570 pistol. We're jumping straight into the game. We're gonna take these heavy weapons to some heavy places. If we're using heavy weapons, we're hunting some heavy animals. Let's go. Let's let's go straight into Africa. Let's just get right into the meat of it. We've been wanting a heavy weapons DLC for a long time. I'm talking LMGs, RPGs, maybe even like a, I don't know, like a Predator missile, I think would be awesome. I think everyone would appreciate that. But no, they give us a 4570 pistol. It might be good, but I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I highly doubt that it's gonna be as cool as a Predator missile, but it's what we got. And here it is, the 4570 Jordan Burden Superior. We'll go ahead and buy it. I mean, we're gonna test them out and see how good they are. They could be good, you never know. I definitely, definitely think that the AR 300 Win Mag is gonna be a game changer, but is it gonna change the game in the right way? Because the way I see it, if you're putting something into an AR platform, there better be like a 50 round drum mag coming with it, you know what I mean? I mean, they've already given us ARs before, and never in my life have I seen someone use a 22 long rifle AR with a five round magazine. That should literally be illegal. AR should have nothing less than 20. Then we're gonna go into the shotguns. I believe it's a 10 gauge, a 10 SA. It's a 10 gauge and it holds four rounds. That's pretty solid. Not gonna lie, that one might be a game changer, especially if you put slugs in it, and we're gonna do that. Let me go into the store, make sure I got ammo for all these things, and then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna start shooting stuff. All right, guys, I don't know if we're running into a glitch or what, but this is the 10 SA. It's supposed to be 10 gauge, but whenever I try to put the 10 gauge slug, it says no compatible items. Did I run into a glitch here or is there something wrong? Well, that's not cool. Um, We'll figure it out later. Let's just go shoot something with a 300 wind mag. Let's see what the iron sights. The iron sights are pretty good. We do have a gigantic scope on it, so we can see from here to Africa. But first, let's go ahead and find an animal. Hopefully, we can get on some Cape Buffalo, but literally any anything in Africa is a big animal. Oh, that didn't actually take long at all. We found some Cape Buffalo. I'm tempted to sling lead at those buffalo from really far away. I feel like that would just be really fun. Let's see, right now we're looking at about 350. If we can scoot up, I can range my gun to about 328. So if we can get a little bit closer, we're within range to make decent shots too. We may just go prone and see what they are can do. I'm losing them though. They are getting away. I don't know if they're getting closer or getting further away. Can't tell. The last thing we want to do is accidentally spook a herd of Cape Buffalo because they will wreck you. I would say the Cape Buffalo and the wolves are the two most dangerous animals in the game. Because if you don't have the right gun, you're not going to make it. I think they went down the other side of the hill. So we're going to see if we can go out to this point, work around and get them from there. Okay, they know I'm here. Might have messed up. I'm going to keep going around the hill and see if I can get on the front of the pack. Yeah, I don't think this is going where I thought it was. We're just going to have to go at it. Go straight. Let's pull out this Schnurdenberg 4570 pistol. Right now I got a scope on it, but this thing's a single shot, so I don't know if we're going to be doing much of anything with this. You can't do much defending yourself with that. All right, here we go. We're shooting the red one. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to shoot that one. Oh, we're going to kill them all. Let me get prone right here. We're going to kill them all right here. That one should be dead. One more. All right, let's reload, make sure we're good. We got a five round mag, so. I mean, we are laying down some serious firepower. I do know that. Look up on the mountain, see if we can catch some of those ones that was running up. That one's not dead yet. That one felt like a good hit. Reload. That one's going down. All right, we got it. We're, we're having to stretch out our shots right here, but I think we can still get one or two. That one hit it in the butt. Maybe not the vitals hit, but we hit it. Still got this one over here. Let me pull out the range finder. If we can figure out how far that is, we can lay down a serious shot. So it's about three something. So we're going to have to re in or re-zero. Hold right on it, re-zero. Or to be a kill shot for sure. Should be going down. And she is. Another one way over there. It's a long shot. We can do it. That was a good hit. And it's going down. And it is down. Um, there's one. It's way out there, but 
That was probably a heart shot. We'll watch its health and see if it goes down. It's going down. That's a long shot. We got one more way over there, but it's behind the grass, so we can't shoot yet. We're going to keep looking for more. The fact that we can shoot them and the other ones don't know they're being shot at yet, we're going to be able to kill this whole herd from 400 yards away and not think twice about it. Right here. Here we go. That was a little far back. But it's going down, so I guess it wasn't too far back. I think this is just the four power scope too. I don't even think I was using the big high power. I wasn't. I wasn't even using the big scope. I'll be honest, I am pretty impressed. We killed a lot of Cape Buffalo right there, and it was not hard to do it. Whenever I first saw that they was giving us a 300 Win Mag AR, I was kind of like, why are they doing that? We already have a good 300 Win Mag that does everything. That was pretty insane what we just did right there. Let's see where it hit that. Perfect shot. Wasn't going anywhere. Pretty sure we got another one not too far up here. Jamal, we're going to go ahead and let you start tracking. Well, I don't miss any. Oh, my goodness. Jamal's stuck on the same rock the buffalo were. Here is another buffalo. Hit it. Dang, I hit it a lot. I just kept shooting it until we got the hit we needed. Went straight down. It works. It works, I guess. Is Jamal still stuck on the rock? Jamal's going to have to figure that out. That's a personal problem. All right, Jamal. Keep tracking. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. There's one I see. I think that's the one that went aggressive, and we just shot a few seconds ago, really. The fact that we just took out an entire herd of Cape Buffalo, and that one was a gold, that kind of says something. Here's another buffalo right over here. We might actually still have a buffalo that's alive over here. I think I heard something make a noise. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that while we claim this big red one, which is sweet. Was that a one shot double lung or a lung and liver? Still great. I feel like we I feel like we got at least two more on the ground though. I know there's one because I'm looking at it. Maybe we did. No, yeah. Right there's two right here. Oh, there goes a stinking warthog. See if we can put it down. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Put on it, put on. Now that is what a semi-auto is good at. Should I have just killed it on the first shot? Yes. I probably should have just got it done the first shot. But I didn't. And the next four cleaned it up. That was a nice one-shot hit. That was pretty sweet. I'm, I'm just going to say that that was probably worth having a semi-auto. Here's another one. Look at our thing. It says Jamal is worn out over here. All right, Jamal, next time we go to the cabin, you can just stay at home. So it looked like we did actually hit it one of those times. But that last shot was really the one that hit, killed it. Now that's a pretty big one. Yeah, that would have been a gold if I hadn't, oh, used the wrong ammo. Yeah, that's that's a legit Texas heart shot. Like, that's pretty close. Good looking warthog though the 300 win mag ar is pretty powerful let's switch maps let's go to russia and let's see what the 4570 pistol can do okay uh we're at this big lake usually got some good caribou on it so we'll check it out before we leave but you know there might be something here there might not who knows <laughs> All right, I've spent enough time here. I'm leaving. Where can we go that we can get some easy kills? You know what I mean? That's what I'm looking for. Let's spawn in here. Change the need zone. I would really like to get a grizzly bear with this 4570 pistol. Perfect wind. Right there's the waypoint. Let me actually go back and let me get some calls real quick. Let me get one that can call in a bear and one that can call in a pig. We'll shoot whichever one shows up first. This one calls in bears and this one will call in a wild boar. Should be set now. Heavy weapons DLC. We'll see about that. Now let's hit that pig call and see what happens. All right, I see tracks. I see tracks of something. What it? I found it. I don't know which way it's facing though. I'm gonna have to move a little bit and get a better shot. We might be able to sneak right up on it. I, I wanna make sure I'm gonna sneak up real slow. It looks like he's feeding right now. It doesn't know I'm here yet. Dude, I'm about to... Oh, dropped it! Whoa! That was powerful. Roll that rack. Instant replay. That thing smoked it. It kind of looked like I hit it in the spine. Close to the spine. It was a little far back, but man, it hit everything inside of that. Dang, son. Little pistol gets after it, don't it? I'll be honest, I really didn't think that these weapons were gonna be anything crazy, but so far, the 300 Win Mac AR was amazing. And this pistol right here, it packs a punch. Let's go back to the big lake and see if we can get on a reindeer. If we can get on a reindeer, 
that'll be a pretty good test. I'd like to see what it can do about 100 yards away. All right, guys, making our way out onto the lake, the frozen lake. I got one spotted over here. Right now he's, what is that, 200 yards away? Honestly, that's a stretch for a 4570 in a full-length barrel, let alone a pistol. I think what we're going to do is probably try to call him in or just try to stalk him a little bit. I'm kind of interested to see, what if we could find a moose, though? So I'm actually going to leave him alone. He's attentive, but he probably won't run. I'm going to run down this bank right here and see if I can get on some moose. Oh, there's reindeer. Oh, boys. Those are big reindeer. Mission has changed. We're going after the big one. Dude, that right there, that's a huge reindeer. We're going to see if we can take him out with the 4570 pistol at 218 yards away. We're not too far from it. Right now, we're at like 256 or something. There we go, 215. This is not going to be an easy shot, but I think we can do it. Just got to hit him right where he needs to be hit. That was a good shot, right? Oh, I think he's going down. I think he's going down right there. He went down. He went down. Reload real quick, though. This gun's a killer. I'm liking this stuff. Look at that other big one. Doesn't even act like it cares. We're gonna see, oh, now it's caring. Stop, stop, stop. If it stops, we're shooting. All right, he never stopped. That's okay though, it's not a big deal. All right, Jamal, I need you to find this thing. I had no idea where it went. Y'all already know what's next though, don't you? We gotta figure out if that shotgun works and then we're taking it to the Yukon Valley and seeing if we can get into some trouble with it. There he is. What are we thinking, boys? Gold or silver? Gold, silver, or diamond? I don't think it's a diamond. I'm gonna get it's a silver. It's a gold. All right, I'll take it. How far was it? Dude, that's low-key kind of close to a diamond, though. That's pretty good. But now, we out. We swapping, and we going to the Yukon Valley. We going to Alaska. 10 gauge, ammo, 10 gauge. Says I can't do it. What's the deal here, brother? Plastic? I didn't know this, dude. What, what did I buy? Okay, apparently I bought the brass buckshot don't really know why that's a problem but whatever we'll pack some buckshot in case we need it and then we'll pack 20 slugs that should be a good little bit now let's put this i'm gonna put buckshot in it and slugs if wolves happen to get close i'm using buckshot because i have a better chance of hitting them but if i really need to stretch out and hit something like a bison which i think would be epic i'm definitely going to be using a slug because it has more knockdown power let's move back over here should have good chance boys i think we just hit the jackpot i found an entire herd of bison on a snowy island yep this is gonna be crazy bad day to be a bison that's all i gotta say and they're resting this will be the perfect test for the 10 gauge and we're gonna get as close as we possibly can we do gotta make sure we don't get too close too soon though we uh, they're already attentive we almost messed up we gotta take it slow from here really slow all right they're no longer feeding now they're traveling i gotta get over there fast they're gonna be coming right through there right where my scent is this isn't ending the way i was hoping it would i've got to walk somehow no i can't walk they know i'm there now they're alert no i messed it up which my scent is also blowing straight to them this just went from perfect to problematic. While we're making the stock, I want to let y'all know, anything from KindleGrabDoors.com, shirts, hats, hoodies, knives, whatever you want, use promo code KGGAMING, all caps, get you 10% off. Unfortunately, bison do not have a call, so you can't really call in a bison. Oh, he laid back down. We might be able to flank him. I'd say we probably can flank him. As long as we stay about 100 yards from him, we go all the way around. Jamal, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here. See what kind of the sides look like. The sides are okay. Nothing crazy, but they're okay. Dude, did y'all see that? The wind literally just shifted straight to them. That's it. They're running. I'm running too. We're shooting them in the butt if we have to, but it's game over. Something's going to happen right now. There's one. Get a shot. Get a shot. All right, just keep going. T get shots and take them. You're shooting a 10-gauge slug. Make it, make it happen. Oh, that was pretty good. Reload. That one actually dropped. Dude, that's actually kind of crazy. That first shot dropped it. Where did I hit it? Right in the head? I don't even think I was aiming at that one. 10 gauge slug though, not really messing around too much. Where'd the herd go? I see them out there. They disappear. There's one. That's it. Finish them. All right, that one's definitely dying. That one's probably definitely dying.
Just put lead into them from forever away until they just all die. Imagine if we could suppress this thing though. You know how epic suppressors would be in this game? We need suppressors. We could literally shoot all of them and they probably wouldn't even know what's going on. I tried to do some damage with that shotgun, but they just got too far away. Now that's a shot right there. That one put him down. And there he is, down. Did not go far. I hit him with the shotgun, but the sniper is what really got him. I'll take it. This one's the one we shot a lot. Let me go back to another spot. We should be able to see some stuff up here. Okay, what we got? There's a moose 200 something yards away. Line up, take the shot. Don't think about it too much. Send it home. Wait, what did I miss? No, I didn't miss. Done. Done. Let's find something else, let's go. Find something else, next target. We're just flexing right now. We're gonna be honest, we're flexing. How far is that? Mm, not far enough. Crouch down, get some stability. Swap for the bigger scope. Target acquired, put it in the bird basket. Trigger. Not going anywhere, dude. Another cow moose. Dunzo. On to the next target. Let's go. Didn't even need to see it drop because I knew it dropped right there. What else is ready to die? Oh, here we got wolves. The wolves are about to pay. That's all I'm saying. As soon as I spot them, I'm launching bullets. Real close, real close. It's going down though. You can flee all you want. You can only go so far with a 300 wind mag in your gut. Well, the tables have turned. Now the wolves are running from me. Two shots, two wolves. Straight through everything he had, dead. Now, if you're talking about a wolf gun that just straight kills wolves, this might be the move. You don't get full integrity, but the wolves die. That's for sure. Straight through everything. And we're gonna track down these rest of these wolves and see how far they went. If they didn't go too far, we might have another chance. There's a moose right there. There's the wolves. Nope, no mercy. Take them out, boys. Jeez, if I could hit the broad side of a barn, I could do something about it. I can't deal with them speed boosts neither. Well, daggum, son. I'ma say we put a hurting on them. What do I think about the heavy weapons DLC pack? I'm be honest, guys, it's kind of fire. All right, we'll shoot at a goose, fine. All right, fine, I can't kill a goose. Butter here if you wanna see me as hunting like a cowboy or right over here for surviving 24 hours straight on Australia.